Oh
We well, look who it is. Hello, anybody. Hey, Wonder Wizard. What's up? Playing the first. How you doing? Hope you're doing well, my friend. Ah, so today, you're gonna pick it up. No, don't be. There we go. We're gonna try out a new game that has gotten quite a few good reviews. Uh, I'm going in completely blind. I didn't really even look at the trailer. I'm just going by, hey, this is a good game. So yeah. Um, so it was gifted to me. And I'm gonna give it a shot. Supposed to be a psychological horror. I still have a couple of other games to play this month, and I'm gonna have to try to get through them pretty quickly. Uh, because the next few are going to be pretty lengthy from what, from my understanding. This, I guess, can be a really long game as well. So yeah, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. See if we can get even. Come on. And gonna make sure. Uh, game options, subtitle, difficulty, traumatizing or gentle. We'll go traumatizing. Subtitles. We'll go story relate. We'll, we'll go full subtitle. I want to make sure the audio is good and without actually, you know, watching it back. I don't know because I don't got another monitor. I don't even know how well this is going to stream in all honesty. Audio options. That works. Video options. Oh, I think it can go up there. Right, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. New game. You will confront the memory head on, no matter how painful and stressful. Let's do it. set to read only, we will be recording as is our legal right. However, anything you do witness will not be either admissible or provable in a court of law. Hang on. I'm still not sure if this is right. I need a decision now. We're against the clock. Any longer and we risk cellular breakdown. Okay. I'm ready. Black, stay away from the handover site. We have the girl. You cannot save her. Let this run its course. Save the girl. Surprisingly, it's running fairly well for how it looks. Okay, uh... Right click is zoom in. And got side to side. Gotcha. F to interact. That definitely took a frame drop. Now we're down to 40. Hmm. Let me see if there is... I, I want to try to make it... Make it good all the way through, you know? Uh, 
Maybe lower that. Just a high. Make any difference. A little bit, not by much, but I'll work with it. Mmm, yummy. A drone? Okay, shift is... What is with all those noises? Would it be? You know what? I'm sorry for having to do this mid-game. Maybe that will actually do anything. See if it ends up going right back to it. I think it will work. What is with that? Yeah, I don't know. What are we looking for? What are we doing? Okay. Drone is gone. Two and three between my weapons. Oh. A will okay. What is with that noise? Okay, control, you can crowd. What is that? Tab, whips the phone, gotcha. Decks will find and extract the host. Oh, so we're like an agent. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that must be them like going in and out of a place or something. I don't know. I gotta go over there, so let's go this way. Green light on the side of your phone guide you towards a nearby objective. Uh... The scanner. Okay, try scanning the broken drone. Oh. Okay. Uh, white frame, turn green, press, uh, give me now. Gotcha. Oh! What am I watching? Flight controller board. This is military grade. Good question. No, it's uh, a game called Get Even. Just barely started, and I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. So far from what I've gathered, we are an agent here to uh, retrieve a hostage. Which one is it? Vision? Is it Vision? Ooh! High techie! Uh, objective. What about that? Oh, we get a map! Damn! Okay. Uh, UV light? I don't know if that's a handprint or something. Uh, never mind. 
What was the other one? Memoir. Let's stick with map, and then go back to our weapon. Scanner. Cigarette. Partial fingerprint found. No matches in biometric database. Saving. I guess we are going the right way. That's it. Right in the face. Who's smiling now? Better keep quiet. Yes, sir. Uh, take down to effort quick and stealthy. It can only be executed. Right. Damn it. Ah, oh, I was picking up the body. Never mind. So then, what is it that he was shooting at? Analyzing ballistic evidence. Weapon recognized. Semi automatic pistol. Hmm. Kind of like this one? I don't know. Anything I can do scanning him? No? Okay. map app all moving objects are marked on the map in real time they're above oh shit they're above me okay I mean maybe hide over here or do they leave is that above or below facing this way. What is with all that noise? People? I oh, know they are above me. Okay. Oh, no. I'll have to make a call. 
Let me go down here first. See if there's anything down for new. Okay then. Following these guys. They sure uh put a bunch of spotlights everywhere. I don't know if I should go that way or this way. Let's go this way. Or let's not go this way. How's the game how's the game? Uh I don't know yet. I barely started. From what I have gathered, it is uh, well, it's a psychological horror. We are an agent, and what we're trying to do is retrieve a hostage. Thank you for the work, you know. Audio bug actually bugging out? What the hell? Yeah, oh! Ben's corner gun, huh? Too soon to tell, really. The only sign is positive. I'd say he's responding. Shit. Can get a scanner. Nothing. Okay. I can't pick up anything else. What? Why is the bomb armed? Who the fuck is Mike? It's probably on his phone. Fucking typical. Find it. All right. Who's that? Take him out. Me. Stay away. Hey, shh. It's okay. I'm a friend. I'm here to help. My, my dad's been I know you're scared, but you have to be quiet. Can you do that for me? I'm gonna get you out of here. Careful of the bomb. I heard the code. It's three zero zero one. I'm sure of it. Uh, why can't I press it? A oh, three, zero, zero. I was pressing enter, not space. I've been kind of wondering that myself. I'm waiting Red. in building B. Okay. As agreed. Looks like I'm going Red. to building B. Okay then. Do we still have our weapon? No, we do not. Uh, map out. New. Building B. 
Oh, maybe... Scanner? Anything to scan? Nope. Okay, that's building A. And building B. That was easy. Okay. Well, um... That's an arm. No evidence, you kind of zoomed around it. How is that not evident? That is an arm. Oh, it's a prosthetic. DNA found. One matching profile. Patient 912. Patient? Shit. Am I alone in here? No thermal readings in the area. Just me, then. Well, you don't scan that one. You got it. TV. Turn that off. Thank you. I could want to pick up something. Oh! Huh. Oh. Hey, mannequin. No evidence found. I gotta really get up close to it. Got it. DNA found. One matching profile. Patient 219. Patient? So we're in a typical rundown asylum or something? Drugs won't help you. I beg to differ. Well, I guess we're going this way. Fuck's sake, come on. Don't say that. Okay. Oh, I already tried that one. Evil monkey. You wanna go off when I get in by you? No? Map, map, map. Nothing moving? Uh, right after receiving a text, press tab immediately. This is your fault. Probably, but what is my fault? What did I do wrong this time? Ooh. 
Yeah, of course now. Oh my God. I... Somebody! What, what's happening? Help! Warning. Building circuitry unstable. Reset with breaker or fuse box. Those wires are probably warm. I could chase them back to them. I think we already know where it is. We have been in there, I believe. I'm not used to them being called warm wires, though. Now the monkey. Of course, the monkey. Let's try it again. Alright, no good there. No good. Nothing. Nada. Oh, vision app shows all warm. Gotcha. Ooh! I understand now. I'm learning, everybody. Your actions will have consequences. I've gathered that already. Uh, go back to scanner. Other than fucking up the bomb, I don't think I've done anything wrong. How much were you responsible for? You started all this. This all your fault. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess. So now we can go through this way. So would we just win the game if we, uh, didn't fuck up the bomb? Shit. Palathane anesthetic gas detected. Shit. Uh, preemptively go to this one. See if there, is there anything. Ah, Mr. Black. Please, apologies for the theatrics. It's all part of the treatment. Treatment? Oh. This will be far more straightforward if you just keep breathing. That's it. Good. No. No. Not even buying me dinner before you're drugging me? Well... What the fuck? Hello? That's it, Mr. Black. Black. Relax. Breathe. You're back with us. Minor confusion is expected. What? Who are you? What the hell is this thing on my head? Hey! Calm, Mr. Black. Black. That's all I ask. Your current confusion is a byproduct of your treatment. All very unfortunate, but I assure you, you are in safe hands. If it helps you focus, you may call me Red. You, you gas me. There was something before. Another place. That's why you're here, Mr. Black. But now is not the time for questions. Okay, I still got the phone.
Don't have no weapons. Thing on my head. To explain, your memory was damaged in the explosion, leaving two questions that you came to us to answer. Why were you there? And who was the girl? I know why I was there. To save the girl. Then we are making progress. Please. Proceed. Proceed with what? Hello? I'm getting saw vibes. Watching me, huh? Who's this? Analysis complete. Memory unit RR003. Code name Pandora Savant. Looks like the same thing I'm wearing. Hmm. Lithurst Asylum Spirehouse Lane Blackwell uh, Male Caucasian Hair red Eyes green 6 foot 2 172 pounds Patient was an English literature teacher at Soonerfeld High School But after a car accident he developed a Possible Something syndrome I have no idea what that is. Uh, two weeks ago, the patient was injured in a car accident, and when he finally came to, he displayed some curious symptoms. He was unable to recognize family and friends, and unusually calm, almost apathetic, and would frequently try to put different objects in his mouth, e.g. his notebook, empty paper cups. After being diagnosed, the patient was transported to our facility, whereupon he commenced some kind of treatment. Hmm. Oh. That, <laughs> that would have been a little bit easier, probably. Uh, F to zoom out. I really should read what it has to say beforehand, instead of just trying to do it myself. Oh. Match found. Walt Kaufman, 28. Armed Forces. Unit classified. Armed Forces? What's he doing here? Hmm. Was there something back here? Nobody? Okay. Now, Walt Kaufman, Caucasian, hair brown. Patient suffers from anxiety disorder and possibly depressive disorder. Sympathize with that. Uh, outwardly calm and any and all decisions are made by a third party. Yet agitated when left to make choices themselves. Yeah, I can sympathize with that too. Uh, submissive and inactive by nature, patient will quickly become anxious and argumentative if left alone for long periods. This might as well be me. <laughs> uh... Case information, patient admitted after being found screaming and crying in local supermarket. The police report outlined the patient was whispering. They are already here. They know what I did. Oh God, have mercy on me. After a brief evaluation, patient was admitted to our institution and sedated. Immediate psychiatric interview showed thoughts and fixations of morbidity. Yeah, more that word, death and murder. Patient is talkative, yet highly unresponsive to questioning. Hmm. 
Major depressive disorder. Okay. Bipolar disorder. Puppet master worshipper. Alcoholic hallucinations. Hmm. So there seems to be a makeshift psychiatric ward. Special handling remark. Constant supervision required. Morbid thoughts and suicidal tendencies place this patient in a high-risk category for potential self-harm. Uh, general remarks. Patient suffers from dissociative amnesia, exhibiting a false sense of self, personal history, and overall worldview. Patient claims to have been a victim of recent trauma, but cannot recall details. If allowed, patient exhibits a tendency to wander throughout the hospital with no discernible direction. When questioned as to the destination, it has been noted that the patient will reply here before settling down wherever they have been stopped. Case information. Patient handled himself, handed himself into the police station exhibiting erratic behavior. In interview, the patient would only ask for Catherine, his wife, in later questioning, the patient exhibited no memory of the aforementioned Catherine, or Catherine, I have no idea, and a later suicide attempt while in police custody prompted patient transfer to our facility. Hmm. Oh. Hey. Hey, friend. Over here. You, you got out. How did you get out? You can't leave me here. Just hang on. What's going on here? Where are we? Please get on back. Me. The switch there, it opens this door. You, you have to help me. What does this say about you? Match found. Samson Charnel. Patient number 3-9. Nothing, huh? I have a feeling I shouldn't, but at the same time, I kind of want to figure out what, what would happen. I will do it. Gotcha. Just open the door. Get me out before he puts me back in. You won't regret this at all. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Remember, your actions will have consequences. Yeah. <sighs> Wait, so was he watching me? Hmm. Oh, more reading. Yay! Uh, built in 1962 to house 500 inmates, the asylum had over 2,000 patients at its peak in the mid-80s. Fifteen years later, the facility was forced to close due to allegations of numerous ex-patients, together with a series of newspaper articles regarding shocking and unorthodox treatment used by director of the Institute, Dr. William Benway. Benway held the radical belief that all mental disorders are caused by bodily infections and that the most direct way to cure a patient is by removing the offending infection. 
Report suggests he would pull patients' teeth out. Eh. And if he deemed the treatment unsuccessful, would frequently remove other body parts too, including testicles, uteruses, ovaries, and stomachs. What the hell? Uh, he claimed the method had a 90% cure rate, but in reality, many of the patients died. Uh, no shit. You can't live without your balls. No, <laughs> you can't live without stomach. Uh, which Benway would refer to the ultimate cure. Benway and his method eventually give rise, give rise to the, uh, Lurthrust, whatever, asylum nicknamed the Hospital of Lost Teeth. I would fit in perfectly there without any teeth, then. Okay. Uh, F. Thank you. So what's that? Oh! <laughs> Never mind. I told you to ignore them, Mr. Black. If the treatment is to succeed, I need your cooperation. Yeah, sure. Hmm. And maybe from now on, I, I should probably listen. Well, no, no turning back now. Okay, uh, general remarks. Patient worked as a door-to-door -door salesman, but after suffering a mental breakdown, became a self-proclaimed cult leader. No case information. Hmm. Oh. You, you, you! Uh, didn't I help you? Fuck you, then. Can I grab that? Fuck. Okay. Then from now on, we are going to leave them. That's going to be the case. Where I helped his ass. It was there. I don't know. Ooh, that's a lot of reading. Benway gave the patients LSD with the instruction that they must now discover their inner selves. He admitted his previous theory about the bodily infection was probably imperfect. But having seen the results of Dr. Elliot Baker's therapy, he believed the LSD may be the key to cure all mental issues. It is crucial, he said, that the patient is naked on the high doses of LSD and put in solitary for at least two weeks. Predictably, patients' conditions would often take a turn for the worse after such treatment. Same for the more extreme cases involved a schizophrenic patient, Richard Pickman, pulling his eyes out and eating them, with another, Ronald Opus, committing suicide by self-strangulation. I've never made a single mistake said Dr. Benway, and asked about his patient's allegations. In 1999, the hospital closed its doors for good. Many local residents and ex-patients hope it will be demolished, but for now it stands abandoned. In 2003, it served as a setting for a low-budget horror movie, The Final Session. Hmm. Okay. So we're going back the way we came. There ain't no other way we can go. Okay. Wait, you're not gonna go... Oh, no. That was abrupt. Although your memory has been affected, your Twitch response remains intact. Pure muscle memory. Fascinating. What is this? Place is filled with runaways, criminals, ex-military. Who the fuck am I? And why the fuck am I armed? I understand your curiosity. We just picked up the gun. That's why you're later, Mr. Black. Please proceed.
You know, for a rundown, beaten up player, they sure have spent a lot of money on flat screen TVs. Have you noticed that? that there are flat screen TVs everywhere. Alright, what we got, what we got. Uh, special handling code must keep medicated at all times. Special handling remark, constant supervision required, solitary recommended. General remarks, patient suffers from severe memory loss, making it impossible for him to differentiate fantasy from reality. He reports both visual and auditorial, on auditory hallucinations, coupled with frequent out-of-body experiences. Believes he was abducted by some unidentified organization that tries to erase and destroy the patient's memory, unsuccessfully, in the patient's own opinion. A patient was found wanderingly, wandering aimlessly near the Brant Green Woods Nature Trail, wearing only blood-stained underwear. He assaulted two police officers who were called out to investigate and was subsequently arrested with some struggle. When finally restrained, the patient began screaming, you don't even know the cages inside your heads. Other references to the officers being blind fools and poor servants were also recorded during transit. Hmm. Okay. First birthday, second birthday, fourth birthday? No, no, never third, never, never. Never the third. Someone there? Yes. Someone. Someone. Real. Turn on the light. Let me see. You can smell it. Match found. John Linden. Missing persons registry. 2703. Doesn't show anything for... Oh, wait a minute. One more. I owe you my freedom. I will repay you in kind. I know the way. The passage is open. Wait, what? Can I go? I can't go back, though. So that wasn't the same guy who, who I let go? Okay. So maybe let's stick to it, then. No, 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 no! What did you do? What does it work? Where are they? You've taken away all the cake and presents! You'll be so upset, you monster! Monster! What did you do, Mr. Black? Understand, your actions here will have consequences. You must take responsibility for them. It's all part of the treatment. Sorry, what? You damaged that circuit while toying with the fuse box earlier. Cause and effect, Mr. Black. That's why you're here. Action, reaction. Past and present. Please, proceed. Proceed with what? Fuck's sake. That's why I didn't see any. Okay. Interesting. Always searching. You truly are the diligent detective, Mr. Black. An admirable quality that will come in quite useful. As we prepare for our first little trip. The more external stimuli you engage with while wearing the Pandora unit, the more effective your synaptic recall will be. Please, continue. Well, okay then. Well, if that's the case, wasn't there... Oh, just... Cause I saw a bunch of that green stuff on the wall. I go, oh, maybe, maybe. No. Should I go down or should I go? Let's go up. Uh. Never mind then. We're going down. Down, down, down. Stop closing the damn doors behind me. Is that the... Oh, that is a big time close-up. Uh... Boobious. Why, why is it that, that close, though?
Ah, the Pandora is reacting. Keep your eyes locked and focused. Slow, even. Very good. Just relax and allow that image to take you back there. You may feel a little disorientated at first, but you will be perfectly safe. The building in the photo is the headquarters for Advanced Defense Strategy, or ADS. They are, or should I say were, the UK's leading weapons manufacturer. They were developing a weapon known as the Corner Gun, which apparently you remember. Oh, we're now in the flashback. Yep. I got a pistol, but I don't have my... don't have my gun. Can't jump. Oh, up? No. Incoming call. What the fuck just happened? Is this real? The answer is slightly more complex than the question, I'm afraid, Mr. Black. It's real enough. For now. Just relax and explore. Okay. Remember, if steal, steal the prototype. The, prototype. the corner it. gun. Highly likely. We believe someone hired you. Text message says Robert. Probably Robert Ramsey. Worked for a rival company, FDG. So one company hired me to steal from another. Don't worry about piecing it all together, Mr. Black. Just relax and... And relax and explore. Yeah, I got it. Um, hey there, buddy. He doesn't look too happy to be here either. Okay. Let's see if we can find a code somewhere before before messing with that. Hey, Super here for the Lurk and ask how did they punish the cannibal when he showed up late to the dinner party? They gave him the cold shoulder. Shoulder. But, um. I like that one. That one's good. I don't think Bubba would like it too much, but it's good. It's good, Bubba. I mean, good. That's a good one, Super. Hope you're doing good. Ooh, what's this one? Okay, uh, what is it? Screen text. Uh, Road to Birmingham is expected to be closed in both directions between Alistair and Cormer Road between 8.30 and 26.06 until 2 a.m. Uh, due to maintenance problems and the underground pipe and water, motorists are advised to use alternate routes. Gotta hurry up and fix those pipes before the conference, chaps. Will okay? We're on it, Captain. Not really. See if we can find a code. Nothing yet on these. Okay. Oh. You scan an anomaly that transform to a We programmed in a simulated projection of your real life scanner. It will help you make sense of any inconsistencies in your synaptic recall. Your 
Memories. Oh. So let's go this way then. That's the way we gotta go. Okay, that's the way we're going then. Still haven't seen anything for a code for that door. I can't even remember the way to get back An opportunity there. Opportunity to engage your mind at last. I'll just shoot, shoot your way out of a problem. Careful. Those pipes will burn if you get too close. Burn? I thought this was just a memory. It is. But your brain will give you the sensation of being burned. What affects the mind affects the body. Cause and effect. This is crazy. That's why I guess they always say if you die in your dreams, you die, you die in real life. But what if you're immortal in your dreams? Are you then immortal in real life? No, I don't think so. Okay, so that's the pipe we gotta be careful of. So do not push the hot one. Or is that what we're supposed to do? We gotta find a key. Didn't we turn all the valves that we could without burning ourselves? Or are we supposed to turn all of them off? Only one way to find out. Ah. Well, okay. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. But that still doesn't let us through. Um. You okay, both still have something. Have to be missing from. Would it be? Would it be? What do we have to work with? We got six valves, and that's it. Oh, we can zoom in and out. Okay. Good to know. Maybe if we just put those two. Oh wait, no, I. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm blind. See, you're more than capable of figuring it all out. I would like to believe that. I'm close What's on going on? Of course you are. Something feels. Off. Yes, you appear to be experiencing a slight temporal anomaly. You're remembering events in the wrong order. It's just your mind trying to make sense of it all. Perfectly normal. PT vibes. Keep going. Oh. Was this all your fault? Yes. We get a 
We get the corner gun. Do you remember how to use the weapon? Not really. Why don't you approach the firing line? That's right, okay. Pop. All coming back to you, I see. Kind of. It will soon enough. How much did you know? I crouch okay. and move forward to continue. Directly up at the ceiling. Oh! Oh! Okay, bend corner gun position. E will allow you to. That's funky. I don't like that. That is kind of cool, though. Bring the corner gun in this position with E. And pop. I'm gonna forget that real quick. Was it really you who started all this? Really you who started all this? Good question. I have a lot of questions. There's n I missed. But it looked like that was head on. Yeah. How much were you White lights on the side of your phone indicate pollution anomalies. Press. No evidence found. I gotta be right here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, we're back doing the, the crazy again. F1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, got a light. Ah, gotcha. Huh. Or I can just go left and right. in the ADS building. Technically, you're not even there, Mr. Black. Actually, no scanning the, the cigarette this time? How oh, the fuck? Just like before, Mr. Black, it's an inconsistency. Try to use them to your advantage. Then let's do that, shall we? We close? We cannot close. What is with that light just hanging above me now? Wait, what? How could he see me? Isn't that supposed to be all stealthy? Gonna stay like this now. Don't 
I guess so. Super Street Boy! How do you know I'm in cover? How do you know anything? Damn, you're a quick guy. Okay. So let's try to go back to being stealthy. Press nap. No, no he's not. Should I just try to run through? I'm not by any pillar. I don't have a choice now, I guess. Other than that, you guys are gonna kill me. Fuck it. Reestablished visual. Nope, no you didn't. You don't see nobody. Say, isn't there supposed to be something there? Pardon me. Uh, go this way. I don't understand how this works. Everyone seems off somehow but it feels so real so do dreams mr black until you wake up that's the best way i can explain it but pandora is still not fully capable of simulating human behavior i would advise against creating too much disturbance every time you kill someone you rewrite the memory which may cause distortion all right so not what if I, uh, uh, do I just knock him out if I get up behind him, like, in the tutorial? He's still just facing this. Okay, there we go. Where'd he go? He's above me? I don't get it. Don't 
myself has never really been my forte. Wait, can I change? Just between those two on that, okay. Oh, but it goes back to that. Gotcha. You see me, you didn't even turn that way. I don't think. Is it because I ran? Oh, I gotta go through this way. Damn it. See if we can find some anomalies or whatever. I may help us. Yeah, that would have been helpful. How can I get by? Maybe if I just run. Worked for me last time, didn't it? I don't know what my objective is though. Just run. To the bathrooms again. Hopefully no one's in here. Okay, uh, uh. Okay, so the AI is dumb. I'll take that. Damn, but they got some visuals. I'll give them that. Which one? This one. I don't know which one I pressed, but we're going. Above you are the research labs. I believe that's where you need to go. A warning. You may come across Roger Howard, the CEO. He was personally overseeing the development of the corner gun. The man never sleeps. Although it's late, he may well be around. Avatars of plumbing to distract. I just got an achievement. Alright, I gotta see if this will actually kill him. It does. It does. Okay. Whoops. I can't even go stealthy like that. Ain't that a bitch? That is a lot of Chinese food. Oh, I'm hungry. Britain Veteran Service. You are not alone. Call for free help and advice. Helping our veterans since 1945. Are you a veteran in crisis or no one who is? If so, we're here to help. Call us to speak with Veteran Services Operator who will connect you to a to the care that really matters. 
Alternatively, visit our website to chat online or via text with our operators who can offer immediate anonymous support. We are here to help. Okay. Well, that's good. Good that they, they get some help. I need help too. And understanding this game! Who's up here? Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna have time to read that. Life is shit. I think it would be that easy. Just hoping though. You just chilling there looking the same direction? Now right, let's go. Can we go around? Negative. Okay, you do move. Took you forever to do so. Negative? Okay, let's see if we can find some anomalies then. I don't remember the code to this door. How do I get through? The memory of the code is still there, Mr. Black. You just can't quite access it. Explore your surroundings. The mind has funny ways of helping us recall. I don't understand. You don't need to, Mr. Black. You just need to look around. The hell is that? Like an evil turret. Oh, all of a sudden it's open now. Seven. Learn not to run. So we got seven. Five. Okay. Seven, five, nine. Seven, five, nine, four. Somewhere within that combination. Wait. Seven, five, nine, four. Oh. Okay. Or is it seven, four, nine, five? Okay, now how can we tell which one's first? Hmm. Maybe going youngest to oldest? So it would be seven, nine, four, five. Seven, five, nine, four. 
seven, nine, four, five. Hey! I can't believe I did it. You didn't just steal the, the corn again. Gun. You destroyed their servers. Erased their data. Wiped the corn again from existence. You're good at your job, Mr. Black. I'll give you that. Well, this Robert Ramsey must have paid well. Damn. Here it is. to escape oh um ah there you are I'm afraid I've been watching you since the moment you entered the building your work is impressive but the show is over you have my property and I want it back nothing personal you understand security kill him Do I have to fight back? See if I can just get away. Fuck. Okay, so we have infinite life. We just have to stay in cover. Apparently not. There's no other way! I have to kill him! There's no other way out, is there? Wait. Oh, that w that's a way out. Not the way out I was hoping for. Trying again, okay. I supposed to do I don't understand what else I'm supposed to do Not like this is what I want to do, but I gotta.
Can I take some body armor or something? Be nice. No? What are you doing, Mr. Black? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm chasing Howard. No. We have nothing to gain by changing this memory. I'm pulling you out. Damn. Stabilizing windows. Nursing full insulin system flood. That's it. Stay with us, Mr. Black. I'm pulling you out. I thought this was a simulation. I was... I was there. I could feel it. The pain. It felt real because your mind perceived it to be. Injuries sustained within the Pandora will have the same effect on your brain as those sustained without. Now, stop thinking, Mr. Black. Clear your mind while I bring you out. Hmm. Oh, I just realized. I'm gonna go ahead and did not realize you was also streaming. I'm gonna give us some lurkies. Sorry. I got. I got. Sorry about that. What are you doing? Oh Christ. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. A natural response. It will become easier the more we proceed. If it helps, helps I have prepared a little gift for you. What are you talking about? Outside in the corridor, you see the lines of computer code. All the ones and zeros. Please approach and proceed. Not that again. I couldn't look at this before, I don't think. I guess not anything to look at, really. Well, uh, this. To establish in the late 90s, advanced defense strategy has quickly become one of the leading manufacturers of small arms in the UK. As of the beginning of the financial year, 2007, the company is now the fourth largest defense contractor in Europe. Opened in 1998 by Roger D. Howard, an ex-serviceman, an ambitious entrepreneur, Mr. Howard recently told the BBC that he always dreamed of merging cutting-edge computer technologies with the latest engineer solutions to create the weapon of the future. In my opinion, spoke Howard, weaponry and defense systems are both fields that should be the bleeding edge of technological pro technical progress. Take the internet for example. This is something that was extensively used in the U.S. Army, decades before it was available to the wider world. In fact, in certain circles, the World Wide Web is considered something of a museum piece. I think that alone highlights the role of the arm manufacturer, to show humanity the direction we are headed, and I don't know why I have a southern action. To know them for the future. Safe. Read more on page 12. Oh, so much reading. So much reading. Ah! Our new project has been in the works for a total of 14 months now, and it's worth it. We believe that this latest product will offer a major breakthrough in the field of anti-terrorism and urban warfare. Named the corner gun, it allows a mounted weapon to be armed and fired around corners, minimizing the risk to the user's personal safety. Incorporating a miniature HD camera, the thermal module and night vision as standard, and a removable repositionable screen, the corner gun will grant the user the ability both observe via live feed and shoot from almost any position. This live feed can also be redirected to a secondary monitor, such as a command post or control room, allowing for greater distance and safety. And where did I just leave off? Oh, there we are. Uh, incorporating a miniature HD camera, a thermal module, and night vision as standard at... Didn't I just read? Oh, yeah, I did read that. And I did... Pardon me. Wait a minute.
Yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, ignore me. Sorry. Uh, the front section of the corner gun can be rotated 60 to 90 degrees in either direction, and the CSP model, equipped with Panzer Faust rocket capability, can be rotated a full 90 degrees protecting the user from the rocket's backward blast. Essentially, these features would allow the user to mount a range of firearms, including, but not exclusive to, handguns, grenade launchers, and APRs. Precise and easy to control, the pistol alignment can be returned to a straight position in a fraction of a second. It is worthy to note that due to the HD camera capabilities, the device can also be used to monitor high-level threat situations from a safe position. With our current schedule, projecting a market-ready product within the next four to six months, I'll update you on our progress soon, as long as I'm not the one reading it. it too much reading. Too much reading. I'm just going to quickly look at everything. I don't mind it too much, but... I'm sure it's just going to make it boring to everybody. So much stuff to inspect. I don't know if actually inspecting is going to make any difference. Why is it so close? Why does it have to be so close? Tell me. Tell me why. Okay, let's go. I wasted too much time. Did we already... Read those? I'm pretty sure I did. I think. I hope. Why is that? I don't have... Okay. I have the camera again. Whoa. No evidence found, huh? Maybe let's take a quick look back here on all this. No? Nothing? Well, fine. We'll go to the trippy picture. Hey? Where am I now? This is another memory. Not quite. Consider this a filing cabinet, Mr. Black, of all the evidence you gather. We'll make sense of it eventually. Any information filed by the Pandora is accessible for you in this room. Each board represents a different memory. Give it a try. Look at a couple of boards and see what happens. Oh, so yeah, all the stuff that we look Any at... Any connections or links your mind may have made, even unconsciously, are recreated visually by the Pandora. I'm rather proud of this feature. You can study the investigation further, or return to the asylum when you're ready. Just use the photo in the middle of the room. Interesting. Haven't even started that one. So I did miss four things. Hmm. 84%. Can look at them again. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh! Oh! I did a lot more than I thought then. Okay, 82% for this one. I don't remember looking at all this, though. Like, I remember the picture. Red. Okay. Barely did anything for that one. Alright, oh, well, let's go. Very good, Mr. Black. Your synaptic, synaptic transitions are becoming much easier. The room you just visited will help you stay away from conjecture and concentrate only on the facts. Facts? All I know is that my name is Black, and apparently I stole this corner gun. Precisely. And an expert job it was, too. ADS all but went bankrupt after you disappeared with the prototype. But I'm sure we will learn more. As you proceed. Like how to get out of here. You are here through choice, Mr. Black. And if you show the same clarity of thought as you did breaking into ADS, then that might not be for too long. You can revisit the investigation room to review evidence at any time by looking at the picture with binary code. Gotcha. Let me look at these again real quick just to 
make sure. But I don't remember actually looking at him. Bing. Uh, new memory, new memoir entry. Uh, Cole saw a black prototype of ADS and confronted Arthur Howard. He knew me. Huh. I'm almost getting like Assassin's Creed kind of vibe. I that has to just be a cell. Now, like, what kind of room is that? Red, hey, why is everyone loose? The patients must have their exercise, Mr. Black. Now move along. Well, I don't like that. Oh snap! Match found. Patient name, Albert Hall. Suffers from severe panic disorder. What is this? Can we pick up the axe? You know, as a weapon? Okay, I still have my pistol. I only have eight shots, though. I offer you this servant, O oh Puppet. Master in gratitude for sending your obedient pawn to set me free of my earthly captivity. Soon I will help it. Reach the light as well. The passage is open. Hmm. I hear you knocking. No, I'm just going to leave you there. I'm not going to continue. Uh, no. Oop, wrong button. Relinquish your earthly vessel and become one with the light. Yeah, I'm not going to read everything because I don't know if I've reread them or if I would be rereading them or what. Yeah, I know I looked at all of those. This is new. We must get rid of the needles. You know what? This is be... We must get rid of the needless one. They're getting in our way. What, am I the needless one? I hope not. Oh, nice, uh, top hat you got there, buddy. A guest! <laughs> a guest! Oh, I almost didn't see you there. I'm sneaking around like a cat. Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> see, how do you take it? One up or two? <laughs> One up or two? <laughs> Hmm. I'll, I'll leave you two up there, buddy. Damn it. No way through. So then where am I supposed to go? You know what? Maybe this.
Okay, so I'm missing something. Flora looks all distorted. I probably missed, but I'm just going to go ahead and back out of that. I... Hmm. Can you help me there, buddy? Jesus Christ. The code for the door. I need the code. <laughs> Why you? Secrets. Ah, it is a party after all. Ah, it is a party. There must be prizes. Ooh, I love prizes. Ah, twinkle, twinkle, little cat. How I wonder where you're at. Search for answers high and low. Turn off the lights and let it glow. Little cat lost in the dark. Can you find my secret marks? <laughs> That's easy enough to understand. Now we just have to find the code. Somewhere. Didn't I already look everywhere with this? Okay, it also says to turn off the light. How do I, how am I going to turn off the lights? I'm not even seeing anywhere to turn off the lights. Oop, no, I don't want to, nope, zoom out. Hmm. Okay, how can I turn off the lights? I mean, they're already off. UV light! <laughs> A little cat, did you find it? Did, did you find your... Uh, what are you looking for? Uh, I'm afraid I'm past remembering. <laughs> uh, we're all past remembering. <laughs> Would you like some tea? I can see that you. If I'm going by the tic-tac-toe rules, that would be 2 2 one. I don't know, hopefully it's going to put something nearby the... Oh! one two zero one. Okay. Four plus four equals eight. I hope. One. Now let's see, does it put anything nearby here? It does not. 
We don't even know how many digits we actually need. Anything else? No? Like, I don't know what order or anything that they would be in. Hmm. Uh, if it goes by, I guess, the... I don't know, he walked this way. Not showing... Very odd footsteps, though. Got you like a left foot, then another left foot, and another left foot. Left foot. They're all left feet! Hmm. Does that have to do something with the two? They're all left feet. Oh, that drives me crazy. I don't understand. I don't get it. Alright, let's try putting in the first one. I'm gonna put two, two, one. I don't like you. Uh, two. Oh, you can only put it in once. Okay. Hmm. I wish I didn't have to keep going back. Maybe they're all added together? Like this would be... Five. Four. Eight, one, five, four, eight, one. One, four, eight, five. Putting the zeros on there though. Hmm. The question is, what are you writing with? <laughs> is there anything on the top that says like I want orders on them? I, I don't get it. Puzzles are not my strong suit, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, that one was one. One, eight, four, five, and we tried five, four, eight, one. I think. I really don't like it. I'm almost willing to try to brute force this. Hmm. Yeah, let me... Do I even have a pen nearby? 
Probably not because I can't really... Like, I've, I've been trying to learn to write with my left because my right thumb is all screwed up. My entire right side is screwed up. But that's a, another story. Um... Damn. I don't... I don't understand. Did I not press them correctly? Is there anything else in this room? Nope, just the one. Oh, that's what he was probably using. Maybe. I hope. I left it there, and that's probably the last one. So then, yeah. I think five, four, eight, one. You'd think. Four. Eight. One. Five, four, eight, one. One, eight, four, five. Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh my... Okay. That's... End of the stream, everybody. End of the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you... I'm... I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What combination did I do then? Did I mix up the four and five? Oh, I hate myself. Oh, I hate myself. Okay. We made it. We made progress. Easy every time. Easy every time. Relinquish, relinquish your earthly vessel and become one with... I already read that. Oh. Fuck. What now? Don't take this music away! Leave it be! Leave it be! The party! The party! He's on his way! He's on his way! Okay, hey, don't take it. He said, "Don't take his music away." Right? Yeah, you teach that wall a lesson. You, you, damn it! Was I supposed to do that? But he said, don't take away his music. Well, shit. Anything good? What a poor little puppy. He's so sad. Don't you laugh at me. It's a bunny. Hi, bunny. The monkey. Yeah, this ain't a little creepy. Hey, conquer! Stuff? 
That was a good game. We'll just go ahead and skip that. All these different toys for different patients. Good to know. Bullet in the brain? Is that a bullet? That is a bullet. Uh, hi? They're being all neat and tidy with their shoes and whatnot. Wedding dress. Well, were we just about to get married or something? Maybe. Have you? Just turning off the light have a consequence. Tell me. Tell me! I'm trying to save some electricity here. I just wanted to say that I understand if you don't want to adopt. I'm at the studio this afternoon. Call me when you're back and I'll come straight home. We can talk then. I love ha you. Having issues having a child then? Just a small reminder from your loving wife. Don't you dare forget our appointment at the clinic today. 2 p.m. sharp. See them, Mr. Scatterbrain. How'd they know my name? An artiste. Tell you that's what I'm supposed to look like. My darling husband, I know this won't be the life we imagined anymore, but I'll be free to focus on my art, and you, well, <laughs> you'll change the world like you always dreamed you would. And no matter what happens, we will always have each other. All my love. Now and always, Lenore. Lenore. Isn't that from an Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe poem that I'm thinking of? Oh, okay, so they did. We're able to have a baby. And a kitty. Evil looking kitty. What's your nanigans you up to? Hey, I tried your office but couldn't get through. Call me if you get this. I've got news, and you may want to brace yourself. Love you loads. That was, that is. Are you are you absolutely sure? I did the test three times. The doctors they said. I guess we proved them wrong. Oh, okay, so they would have. That can't be you. right. It can't be. That means it means we're not just a couple anymore. It means we're a family. Why show me this? Is this how you justify everything? A 
Bastion. What just happened? What Why did you have it? to hit the ah, puppy? You're back with us. Good. Those memories, they felt different. What was that place? No need to bother yourself with that, Mr. Black. Just a quirk of the technology. So there were my memories. What's going on? That is none of your concern, Mr. Black. It is irrelevant to your treatment. Now. Let's proceed. Proceed. Right. Hmm. I have a feeling my treatment is just to get information out of me. I'm really getting Assassin's like the original Assassin's Creed vibe. Let me give you an example. You, uh, how old are you? Twenty-five. Right. Let's imagine tonight you're walking home after work. You see a horse in the middle of the street, and you're scared. You start uncontrollably panicking. Your heart is pounding. Your your hands get sweaty. You don't understand what's happening to you. And you're an adult, for Christ's sake. You shouldn't be scared of a horse. Now, now, you've no way of knowing what the root of this phobia is, but my therapy will make everything clear for you in an hour, maybe less. Perhaps when you were two or three years old, your brother snuck into your room one night, wearing a horse mask on his head. Perhaps he just you know, stood there staring, watching, breathing waiting you woke up and you were terrified i call it trt toy regression therapy give patients toys or mementos from their childhood and the psychoanalytic magic works miracles huh They're all synced. Want me to go that way? So saved. I'm going back this way. Something's going to jump out of that. It always seemed real to me, even before I got here. The puppet master. The one in control. Because I sure as hell wasn't in control. I felt like shit for as long as I can remember. Everyone was mean to me in school. I was constantly bullied. But I assumed it would stop once I was an adult. Because I believed adults would be too busy to waste time on hurting the people around them. Well, I was wrong. So I found comfort in pills and drinking. But there was always this presence. Like an enormous hand hovering over me. It wasn't my decision to go there and start shooting those people. I'm surprised it's the only thing missing from those CCTV recordings. The black strings coming out of my hands and feet. And the shadow looming over those poor bastards. When I was finally made to pull the trigger. Hmm. A guy ran over in this direction. Is he in there? So I, if I open up this, it's gonna be okay, right? Oh, you know what would be a good idea? Is it this one? Yeah. No, I can't tell. Yeah, 
special use in there. Maybe. He's here! Oh, fucking shit! Why? Why you gotta do that shit? Alright, I'll start reading. Uh, the Puppet Master is not the man on the screen, nor is it Dr. Brenway, who ran the thirst or ran the asylum until the hospital was officially closed. A few say there is no master at all, and we're all destined to fall into darkness no matter what we do. Is it even possible? Puppet strings attached to our hand. Will you be quiet back there, please? Puppet strings attached to our hand, but no one there to pull them. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. On a scale of one to ten, how much does this new treatment help you to discover your inner self? Inner self? I'm no such thing. Please. I just wanted to serve my country. Oh, don't change the subject. I I'll ask again. On a scale of one to ten... You made them cut my fucking arms off! My fucking... We did it to save your life. That landmine... I will end you, motherfucker! I will crush your fucking throat! <laughs> How? You have no arms. But you seem to be much less concerned about your past mistakes now, so let's call that a nine, shall we? Interesting therapy. I have a new text. I done scared you. Yeah, you did. Yeah, 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 you did. Uh, Darius, Amputees, Tom Elliott, John Doe, Richard Brown, Edward Wayne, and Robert Collins, Dr. William Benway. Okay. Finally found some new Here evidence. Found one matching profile. Patient 912, Tom Elliott. Probably. Closing the first. I mean, it's a sad, sad day for psychiatry and for people with mental health issues all over the world I only helped my patients get better nothing more and, and there's one thing I just don't understand why do the media still criticize my methods how dare they what about my results hmm? not, not one idiot journalist ever asked how many of my patients were cured not one and I know why. It's because my patients got better. All of them. Even those who died. Especially those who died. You got it done? Thank God. Can't scan him.
Does this rabbit really have something to do with something? Aww. You sad now. There's something behind me now, isn't there? What are you doing to him? Hey, buddy. You! My savior. I said you wouldn't regret letting me go. This is my art. All my brother's sacrifices to the puppet master. You killed all those people. Why? No, you cannot kill what does not live. They are free. And you will join them. Don't do this. Warn you. Warn you. Mm, your dopamine levels have spiked. Are you enjoying this, Mr. Black? No. No, not really. Oh, well, I'm enjoying the game. If that's what you're asking. The killing, not so much. Uh, we tested Ramsey's new prototype, and it's still nowhere close to the next big thing we were hoping for. Five out of six testers reported symptoms of severe R VR sickness, mostly headache and or nausea. Also, the so-called memory visualizing has some pretty major glitches. Testers reported that their memory worlds were fractured at best, and the whole experience was often described as confusing. I think someone needs to address this with Ramsey directly. We wanted to start selling this thing next year, not in the next fucking decade. Well, you know, after the whole Oculus debacle, you know, anyway. Well, I don't think I should press, press any of those. Those two would want to kill each other. And I don't know which one's one... Which one does which. But I'm not going to have a choice. Do I? I don't got a choice. No, I don't! How about this? How about this? Uh... Do anything with this. Let me see... no. Oh, didn't. The king of the wheelchair tower, Mr. O'Berry, he's completely lost it. Steer clear of the man, or he says he'll eat your eyes out. Well, yeah, that would be a reason to avoid him. Aha! Uh -huh. Anything else? No? Bingo. Wondering, is there a life after death? Just trespass here and find out. Or pay a XXXXX. Too late for that. Now? What the fuck? Agreed, what the fuck? Robert Ramsey, genius or charlatan? Head of future defense group, science and tech department, Robert Ramsey, is widely recognized as one of the most important innovators in tech world. However, to his detra detractors, uh, Ramsey is a charlatan frequently accursed of stealing concepts from his lesser-known peers. We talked to former ADS CEO, who claims that one of Ramsey's most successful projects was based on a theft. More on page six, The Agitator.
I thought you were gonna eat out my Last eyes. Found. Redmond Macy, kleptomaniac. Known aliases, Maestro Berry. Why does this feel important? Oop. Probably because it's not. That's why it feels important. Seriously, how much did they have to spend on these TVs? Evidence? first lead, Mr. Black. What do you know? The question, Mr. Black, is what do you know? Let's see if you have any memory of this place. Focus on the photo when you're ready. Jasper Prado's death remains unexplained. Chadwick is certain it was a drug-related crime. Of question both Jared Porter and Ethan Hamilton. Chadwick talked to John Linden and Albert Hall but it doesn't seem we're making any progress. More names popped up in Prado's phone record, but the guy was a dealer, and it looks like almost all of his friends were just clients. Art Fair. Uh, name of the informant, Shane... something. Uh, details on Monday the 20th of June at 4.26 a.m. The Britella Force received a call reporting a car accident in the area near the Pike Hill turning on Route 10. Upon arrival, we located one vehicle in the nearby woods. The car hit the tree and was burning when we arrived at the scene, so we used an extinguisher and quickly managed to put the fire out. Preliminary investigation revealed that the accident was most likely caused by excessive speeding. There were no passengers inside. Further investigation revealed a blood trace in the woods but no body was found in the area nearby. The driver may still be alive. His current status remains unknown. Uh, Jacob Singer, address... Possible homicide in an abandoned warehouse. Details of event on the 20th June, just because before 2 p.m., we received a call reporting the discovery of a man's body in the empty warehouse near Route 10. Officers sent to the scene confirmed one victim, whose death was caused by a gunshot wound to the head. There were no documents on the body when found. Forensics will be required to provide a positive ID. The autopsy is scheduled for Friday. The officers recovered shell casings on the scene, matching one weapon, a pistol with a silence, also found on the scene lying approximately 10 feet from the victim's body. The weapon was identified as a self-loading pistol produced by ADS. Nineteen ninety-six criminology graduates uh, began working for the East Barbourne Police in 1997 joined Se Severin Police Department in 1999 in 2002, promoted to his current position as detective. Okay, don't inspect that picture. Not yet. A body of a 40-year-old man was found in an abandoned warehouse near Route 10 on Monday. Detective Chief Investigator Edwin Hughes said it appears that the victim was shot from close range 
but we don't know how long the body was there before we found it. The autopsy is scheduled on... Oh, was that the end of talk? No, it wasn't. <laughs> the autopsy is scheduled on Friday, but it's quite possible that we have a murder case on our hands. No specific details about the victim's identity has been released yet. Listen, I think someone's been murdered here in the warehouse. You should send someone. It, I'm half a mile down the road from the Pike Hill turning off Park Street. I was out on a run, and I stopped here for a minute. I'm looking at him right now. He's lying face down. No, he's definitely dead. There's a lot of blood. Yeah, it's Jacob. Jacob Singer. Look, can you please just send someone? Thanks. Well, okay. Oh, we still got these. Uh, Detective Bart Bear. Uh, 1994 criminology graduate, uh, Sunnerfield University, began working for the Severn Police Department in 1995, got a police bravery reward in 2009. Uh, things. And Detective Hector Chadwick. Why are the pictures always to zoom up so close? Let's see, is there any... Since it gave me plenty of time. No? Okay. You do remember this place. Interesting. Please, just tell me why this is important. An unidentified man died at a nearby abandoned warehouse not long before you tried to save the girl. He was shot at point-blank range. And we're going back to that warehouse? That's correct, yes. The police wrote the whole thing off as a drug deal gone wrong. But that's not what you believe. I believe everything in life is connected, Mr. Black. The only question is how. Let's find, find out, out, shall we? Back at it again. Black, where are you? You promised to help me. From an unknown number. If it was left on map, I have a feeling that's what I should keep it on. Jesus, man. Get your hands off. There's money for any of this. Shut up. Move. This is where I failed the code. Wait, I know this place. This is where the explosion happened. Ah yes, your mind is preoccupied with the explosion, Mr. Black. The Pandora can only process what your brain offers. Concentrate only on the memory at hand. I am trying. Then try harder. No worries, Chief. Glad to be aboard. Not a hair on her head. Trust me. When you brought me here, fuck you. Red? What? Hey, Red! What the hell is this? None of this makes any sense. You are here because you have formed a mental link between this man and the explosion. The Pandora is trying to decode the message your mind is sending. Focus. I think it may be my fault. Offering you a pathway deeper into your memory. Pursue this. Focus and proceed. 
Remember, Mr. Black, human memory is unreliable at the best of times. I need you to work with my technology, not against it. Take in your surroundings and get as much information as you can. Crime scene detected. Multiple homicide. Attending officers Fair and Chadwick. What are we looking at? Multiple homicide. No IDs. I will warn you though, Chief. Fucking stinks in there. Well then it's a good job I skipped breakfast. Come on. What the hell happened here? Drug deal? I don't know, Chief. Have you seen the weapons they were carrying? This looks high end. Yeah, right. International drug deal. <laughs> hmm. Go in order. That was one. No evidence found. Number four. Identification unconfirmed. Oh, look at that. His entire face. There goes any dental match. Shot off his hands too. It's a fingerprint or a bust. Professional job. Shit, this many stiffs have no idea. We can link this to a hundred cases. So, uh, drug deal it is then. What do you reckon? Adam's family or one of my turners, Lock? Uh, well, don't worry. Decide later. Get the uniforms to bag it all. I'm getting a little peckish. There's that new calf opened up next to the neck. You fancy it? Red, what is this? You are trying to process too much, Mr. Black. The Pandora cannot keep up. Concentrate only on the man you came here to find. There, yeah, Mr. Black, right there. Use your scanner. Identify and consolidate your memory. Who is that man? The Pandora will do the rest. Which one? This one. No? Who is this one? There's me thinking we could sort this out like animals. <laughs> you wanna do it, then at least look me in the fucking eye! Sir, we have a name then. Jasper Prado. Boy, here's a case you'll try that. Oh, come on, Chief. Why have I always got a drop? Ranks, son, ranks. How do 
do I know this? You don't. The Pandora is cross-referencing your memory with any police files, files in the database. Hmm. This memory is breaking down. You must move on. Blood, analy uh, blood test analyst came this morning and the victim's DNA matches the DNA we found on the blast site. Chadwick claims the same location was previously used by local junkies. So Prado, as a drug addict and a dealer, wasn't necessarily involved in the kidnapping. Last week, we reported on the shocking discovery of a corpse in an abandoned warehouse near Route 10. The body of a 40-year-old man was, was found lying on the floor of the main hall in the warehouse. The victim had been ruthlessly shot from close range. According to a source, half the victim's face had been shot off, making him unrecognizable. Police concluded that the victim's name was Jasper Prado, a known mercenary and ex-military man with no official place of residence. Police officers investigating Prado's case, Bart Fair and Hector Chadwick, refused to comment on the case. At this stage, it is still unknown if Prado has, uh, was the only victim found on the scene. A ballistic analysis conclusion. Examination of both crime scenes. Uh, Roomsville kidnapping, just Prado's case, as well as collecting and analyzing the physical evidence related to weapon and ammunition during both criminal investigations leads to the conclusion that the shooters use weapons produced by advanced d defense strategy. We're okay. On we go. Uh, no, all these bloody codes. I don't know how much longer I can really do this in all honesty. My body's already telling me I gotta lay down. Oh, so much stuff to this click place on. Again. Yes. Your mind is definitely throwing up some kind of link between this Jasper Prado and the explosion. I'm surprised it's this pronounced, though. As if something is bothering you. Uh, comes from a work class family. Father was a truck driver. Mother worked in a pub. Uh, bright kid in school, though quickly lost all interest in education and started looking for fun elsewhere. Mostly partying in nightclubs and smoking pot with friends. Thank God I don't have to click on all of it. He was in the army 1994 to 96 and started work as a mercenary and drug dealer after being discharged. These days, he makes most of the money dealing hash, pot, and ecstasy, but still keeps in touch with his old friends. Nope, nope, nope. See if we can find that code. Too late. Story of my life. So there's nowhere for a code. That I see at least. Hmm. Bunny, you know the code? Fine then. Hard to see. Oh, just case number. Okay, never mind. Let's go. Oh, 
my back. Black! For God's sake, hurry! I'm trapped. You can stop this. My readings, readings indicate, indicate that you've engaged with an earlier point in the memory. And we still don't know why you're here. I was here to stop Jasper getting killed, I'm sure. Careful, Black. You're dealing with raw theory. Pay attention to the facts only. You risk imminent corruption if you continue this course. Fuck you, Red. I know why I'm here. Okay, we need to not go after them then. Alright, we'll check out one. Yeah, I definitely heard gunshots. Well, I, I heard loud bangs. I guess they were gunshots, because the guy was shot, right? Anyway, I was out walking Cujo, my dog, at around 5 a.m. My wife's a heavy sleeper. And Cujo's always needing his shit in the morning, so, you know, sometimes I take him out for a walk. So, yeah, I, I was walking down Pump House Lane and into the fields when the shots were fired. Hmm. Uh, our informer, Jared Porter, claims that the weapons he was arrested with were produced by ADS and he obtained them with the help of an ADS employee called Jasper Fredo. Porter doesn't know this person's full name. Seems like Porter, a big name in the local arms trafficking business, worked in close co cooperation with big and esteemed arms contractor. Okay, so let's not avoid them then. Take a look around though. No, I don't want to hurt. You hurry. Uh, due to new evidence looking Jasper Prado's death to the kidnapping, DNA was found near the blast site. I hereby request reopening both cases since they appear to be linked. It's car, okay. Oop. And a bunch of different arrest records. Back and forth. Okay, got it. Uh, case closed. Okay. A 45-year-old detective Bart Fair had been reported missing following a four-day period where he failed to report for work and his wife, Jenny Fair, was unable to contact him. The Chronicle was able to contact Fair's workmate, Hector Chadwick, who had taken unpaid leave in order to help find his friend. He's a great copper, Bart, but he's always got too far involved with his work. A man should never put his career first, especially when he has a family. I'll find him. He'll be fine. Detective Farr was recipient of the 7th Police Bravery Award in 2009 following his famous rugby tackle of a knife-wielding maniac in Birmingham, Morsby Station. Hurry. 
Bang. Bang, 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 bang. Now, say, please don't let me have to read all of those. What's your problem? I won't tell you where I am. You need to back the fuck away now. This is out of your hands, and there's nothing you can do about it. So leave me the fuck alone and just let this run its course. Okay. Just loops back around. Is that all of them? Seems that way. Morris code. Black, I have been reviewing the data. Though you've been thorough in gathering evidence, your pursuit of supposition has sadly rendered this investigation useless. I'm pulling you out. No, Red, not yet. I'm so close. Like I said, you began making assumptions. The Pandora is neutral, Black. And so must you be. Maybe you really were there to save Jasper. But the moment you assume that to be true, you corrupt the simulation and cast doubt over the memory. If you continue to do so, we will not be able to proceed. Maybe I don't want to proceed. Oh, I think you do, Mr. Black. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want answers. <sighs> <laughs> Let's try a different approach this time, Black. Different how? I'd like to try starting before Prado was killed. You want me to try again? To save Jasper? I don't want you to try anything, Mr. Black. Everything is prepared for you. Just relax and explore. Yeah, sure. Well, I think I'm actually going to end that here. Uh, because my, my back's not doing too well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end it here. Uh, I do hope anyone who's still lurking in the background or comes across this video uh, has enjoyed. And you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to see exactly if there is, maybe we got somebody who will be still streaming. Yes, we do. Let me go ahead and go ahead and do a quick little raid for her. Super. Uh, bam. All right, y'all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. And I do hope you enjoyed and hope to catch you around for the continuing of Get Even. Take care now. Bye-bye then.